Good to catch you in, Captain. I trust you're finished playing White Knight to poor little smugglers. If you're finding yourself at loose ends now, a business opportunity has presented itself that I thought might interest you. Tell me what's involved. It's not the kind of thing you talk about on an open line. Why don't you meet me at Port Nowhere, and we can discuss it. Perhaps over a game of Sabacc. What a moment for the Holo albums, standing with two of the galaxy's most famous, or should I say, notorious spacers. Captain, I'd like to introduce you to Vaz Tranif. He's, um, how do I say this delicately? I rob ships. I thought you'd appreciate knowing that more than one of his hits has been against Rogan the Butcher. Is this guy here to go after Rogan? Not exactly. That mug's been coming after my crew since the last job we pulled on him. Picked them off one by one. Now the huts have my best vault cracker. We don't stop them, they'll sell them to Rogan for the price of his head. What's this we? Vaz's partner, Combo, was taken by the huts while doing preliminary scouting for what could be the heist of the millennium. An Imperial Treasury starship, the King's Ransom, is in orbit just off Nar Shaddaa. I don't have to tell you the kind of credits we're talking about. Ooh, that'd be hitting those Imperial thugs where it hurts. You could be righteous and rich. I figured you'd want in. What kind of haul are we talking about? My understanding is this ship is carrying the product of all trade between the Empire and the Huts on Narshadon. Help me rescue Combo, raid the ship, and we'll split it 50-50. It's not often you get the chance to thumb your nose at Rogan, strike a blow for the Republic, and still walk away with enough to retire on. You wouldn't have come to Darmus if you could do this yourself. 60-40. Darmus wouldn't have introduced us if he thought you could do it alone. 50. I'm sure you two will work out the details. Rogan's Lieutenant Strilith is going to pick Combo up at a hut cartel safe house on Nar Shaddaa. Boz has the coordinates. I'll meet you there. If we don't manage to rescue Combo, deal's off. Everything is subject to negotiation. Hand over combo unless you want this place to smell like fried hut. Mi bonawa tuipe te bok bagwa wada wanga. Chila ma donkey. Just a more. You kill everyone here, Captain. Who's to say who did it? Strilth's not known for working things out peacefully. Vaz, I I knew you'd save me, Vaz, buddy. I, I just knew it. Frame Rogan for killing Rascuro. You cut off his ties to the entire Hut cartel. I wouldn't risk it, Captain. Huts make bad enemies. Not such good friends either, come to think of it. I Jubanaga. Let's end this boring conversation. <laughs> No, no, don't hurt me. Told you I wouldn't let them hold you. I told them you'd come for me, Vaz. They didn't think you could do it. Thanks lots for bringing Vaz here. I was real scared without him. I'll doctor the scene a bit, make it unmistakable that Struth was the one who turned on the hut. Cutting Rogan off from the Hutt should cut his influence considerably. Can't call yourself a crime lord if there's no Hutts to buy what you're selling. Now we hit the Imperial treasure ship. Darmus made arrangements for us to use one of the Republic's secret shuttle pads to get up there. I'll transmit the specs and meet you. 
Then we'll bilk those Imperials out of more credits than you've ever seen. Surprised to see me? Who do you think pulled the strings to let you use this shuttle pad? Darmus told me what you're doing. It's quite heroic, really. The Treaty of Coruscant forbids official strikes on non-military vessels. We're lucky you're not bound by that. I'd hate to have to share the spoils with the whole squadron. And I'm sure they're thrilled not to share the risk with you. Just a warning, then. The Empire is moving reinforcements into the area. I'd hate to see that handsome face blown into space debris. The shuttle pad's right over there. This is the ship we'll use to rendezvous. It's Imperial salvage, so it's good camo. Combo's cracked a signal we need to dock with the King's Ransom. Time for a little mayhem. Base filled with empty cargo containers. Me and Combo will hide in one while you pilot us in. In one? After you secure the hangar bay, pop us, and we'll loot the vaults from inside. W will you hold my hand, Vaz? You know I don't like the dark. Didn't I show you I won't let anything hurt you, bud? Just climb in. Nice and easy. Spring us when we're clear. Hey, what are you doing poking around here? The only arrival code we've received is for Imperial Starship 2423T6H3L5. Pilot Lieutenant Commander Anaya Arolia Cleone of the Chiss Alliance. I love killing morons like you. What? What are you- Nice. Get the vaults, Combo. When he's got the security down, we should split up. Hit as many vaults as we can before they lock down again. Meet you back here when we're done. Put him far beyond his station. What do the Dark Lords possibly see in this? Scheme to replace soldiers of the Empire with pathetic, lawless criminals. Who are you? How did you get in here? What are three very important looking Imperial moths doing skulking around in some ray shielded closet? The ship is under attack! Call for reinforcements! The Void Wolf! The King's Ransom is under attack. I command you to use all your fleet's resources to drive off this invasion. Now, as you always remind me, I wasn't born to the Imperial military, so I may have the power structure wrong, but I'm pretty blasted sure I outrank you. I'm getting the feeling you guys don't like each other. You're the one they're begging me to save them from? I guess there are things pathetic lawless criminals are good for after all. You're bound by the rules of warfare to send reinforcements when an Imperial vessel is under attack. Oh, did I not mention? The Empire just declared war on the Republic and all its representatives. And as Article 17 of the Xios Convention states, an Imperial Admiral is justified in destroying Imperial targets at risk of falling into enemy hands. With the Captain's track record, I just can't take that chance. Get back to the hangar bay. There's an Imperial battlecruiser attacking the ship. The whole thing's gonna blow. Eight Imperials, crazier than a hut on glitter stem. What kind of morons blow up their own ship so it don't get looted? We stumbled onto some kind of internal power play. The Void Wolf just took down three moths. Good. Let them blow each other up. Long as we got the money. Let's split and then let's split, you know? I don't want to chance anyone following. How much do we get? Thanks for the help, boys. I don't need you anymore. You backstabbing traitor! Combo, look clear! Hands off the Senator. Captain, I thought you were dead. 
The ship, I saw it explode. Make fed the part on Hoje S. Futot ki a tengere. Es a silgo terben a ser zet lakata. Oh, Captain. Are you the bad luck that keeps getting me attacked, or the lucky charm who keeps rescuing me? What are those things? Have you ever seen an animal like this? I've seen a lot of weird stuff, but those I would remember. Well, I'll pay good money to find out what they are. And how Rogan the Butcher got his hands on them. He's just managed to move himself from Thorn in My Side to Public Enemy Number One. So what's the plan? Send a strike team? Sick the SIS on him? Why would I want to do that when I have you? Rogan is the Void Wolf's most dangerous tool. I think the time has come to take down his criminal empire once and for all. And I thought going legit meant I wouldn't have any fun. Just don't let your maniacal giggling make you lose sight of how dangerous he is. Find out anything Darmus knows about Rogan's businesses, and where he might have gotten those... things that attacked me. Then... We can figure out how to best work this plan into the larger war effort. Ah, Captain. Senator Dodonna's already called to rave about how you just saved her life. Meaning the whole Republic's backing you when you finally take down Rogan. Not bad for somebody from the wrong side of the hyperlane. When did you two decide that I want to start hunting down the most brutal gangster in the entire galaxy? Unless you like being ambushed in every spaceport, I don't think the Butcher's given you much... Welcome back, Captain. Senator Dodonna's already called to rave about how you just saved her life. Meaning the whole Republic's backing you when you finally take down Rogan. Not bad for somebody from the wrong side of the hyperlane. If Rogan goes down, as far as anyone's concerned, I did it single-handedly. With a spoon. Blindfold, and after four shots of Corellian whiskey, of course. You're off to a good start. He's lost a lot of influence since you cut him off from the huts. Let me get the Senator on the link. She's going to want to hear what I found. What is it? And talk quickly. I got pulled out of a vote for this. Creatures Rogan sent at you seem to be cybernetically modified versions of native Vossian wildlife. Voss? As far as I know, no native animal has ever been legally exported off Voss. How does this get me closer to feeding Rogan his own eyeballs? We don't have direct access to Rogan, but maybe his suppliers on Voss do. Voss is a strange place, newly discovered, very isolationist. I'll pull some strings and get you a landing permit. But it'll take a while. We shouldn't wait. Rogan's finally vulnerable, and the Captain's gained quite a reputation recently. If anyone's going to conquer his criminal empire, Captain, this is the time, and you're the man with the crown. I wouldn't turn down the chance to rule the galactic underworld with an iron fist. Unfortunately, the only one who knew all of Rogan's secrets was his mentor, Ivory. And he disappeared years ago. That's not... Entirely true. Rogan's predecessor was arrested by the Republic. To my knowledge, he's still incarcerated in a top-secret facility on Belsavis. This is highly restricted knowledge. Even within the Senate, not everyone knows of Belsavis. You must not repeat any part of this. Isn't that more the Empire's sort of thing? It's hard to be the good guy. If you don't kill offenders outright, you need a place to put them. It may take months to get the permits for Voss. Belsavis will be easier. Ivory and Rogan were like father and son. If you can find him, he'll know Rogan's hideouts, stashes, things we'd never find ourselves. This is a man who used to sell children to the huts for gladiatorial games. The Republic will insist on tight restrictions for dealing with him. But it's worth it. If you're going to war with Rogan, Belsavis will be your first battleground. I'll get the permits in order. Rogan has no idea who's coming after him. <laughs>